um, Daddy, can I go outside and try to eat my golf ball? No, Jeffy, it's raining outside. Jeffy, how many times do we have to tell you do not eat golf balls? Well, then why do they look so yummy? They don't. Well, they look like marshmallows. <laughs> But Jeffy! Mario, why is it raining so badly? I don't know. Let's turn on the weather channel and see what happens. Breaking news, okay? A hurricane named Hurricane Sally is hitting us right now. It's a category two storm, so stay inside. Oh, what's that? We have word now that reporter Goodman is on scene to tell us how bad it is. How bad is it, Goodman? <laughs> A hurricane? I didn't know a hurricane was hitting. Mario, we have to prepare. We need supplies. We need food, water, ice, flashlights, batteries, and gas. <sighs> There's your gas right there, Mommy. Rosalina, we don't have to prepare. Everything's going to be fine. It's just a little bit of rain and wind. But Mario, it's a category two. That ain't nothing. Um, Daddy, what's your hurricane? A hurricane's a big storm that just destroys everything. Well, I want to be a hurricane. You can't be a hurricane, Jeffy. Well, why does Sally get to be one? Sally's not a real person. It's just the name of the storm, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be the biggest hurricane ever. Well, you'll never be a hurricane, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, since you don't believe in me, I'm going to grow up and be the biggest, baddest hurricane ever. And then you're going to see me on the news. So, <sighs> he's so stupid. Mario, I'm really worried. There's nothing to worry about, baby. It's just a little bit of rain and wind. <sighs> Everyone, look out for Hurricane Jeffy. I'm going to destroy everything in my past. <sighs> Jeffy, why are you destroying the living room and hissing like a cat? Because I'm a hurricane, Junior. You're a hurricane? How'd you become one of those? Well, I was watching TV, and I saw this girl named Sally, and she became a hurricane. And now everyone's afraid of her. But she's a total two, but she blows like a ten, Junior. And she's got a whole lot of wop. What's wop? Wind and precipitation. Oh, she sounds so hot. Well, if you want to meet her, she's right outside. She's outside, like right now? Yeah. I'm so nervous. I'm not ready to meet her. Oh, I need some advice from Chef Pee Pee. Oh. oh man, that won't fit. I bought the wrong size. Well, it's not the first time I bought the wrong size for something that's not gonna fit. <laughs> hey Chef Pee Pee, can I ask you for some dating advice? No, Junior, not right now. I'm trying to make some food just in case the power goes out. Stupid Hurricane Sally. Sally, you know about her too? Yes, Junior, everybody knows about her. She's dangerous. She's dangerous? Yes. But is she bad though? Yes, she's bad, and she's huge! Oh, she's a big girl, that's why everyone's saying she's a two. No, she's a category two, but she's nothing to play with. Well, what if I think I can handle her? Junior, you can't handle her! She'll blow you away! Oh, how bad is she? What, Juju Jr, Junior, hurricanes are nothing to play with. They could take your car, your house, maybe even your life. Well, what's she look like? What? what? Junior, what are you talking about? I think I'm thinking with the wrong head check. I'm gonna go outside and see her. Junior, don't go outside! What's wrong with you? Uh, Sally? Um, I really like you, and I heard you're bad, and I don't care if you're a 2, I think you're a 10, and I think big girls need love too, so I'd like to be your boyfriend, Sally, you, you can give me your answer later. Uh, Chef Pee Pee, I didn't see Sally. What do you mean you didn't see her? She's huge! Hey, Chef Pee Pee, you stop talking about my girlfriend like that! What? Yeah, I know you think she's a two, but she's a ten to me. And just because she's fat, I love big girls. I think they need love. But Junior, it's a hurricane! <laughs> what are you doing, Jeffy? I'm a hurricane! Oh my god, Mario! Mario, the storm sounds like it's getting worse. It's just wind and rain. It's not getting worse. Mario! What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Chef Pee's destroying the entire house! He is! Jeffy! <laughs> Jeffy, what are you doing? I told you I'd be a hurricane, Daddy! Jeffy, you're gonna clear up this mess right now! You can't stop a hurricane, Daddy! <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs>
What's wrong, Mario? Go ahead, tell her. Jeffy thinks he's a hurricane and he's destroying the entire house. I'm sure he's not destroying the entire house, Mario. Just my kitchen? Yeah, in the living room. He's making a huge mess. Mario, we'll clean it up later. He's letting his imagination wander. Well, he needs to stop wandering around my kitchen and making a mess. <laughs> Oh no, the power went out! Oh no, I'm scared of the dark! What are we gonna do? Well, you know what? I, that was so annoying, I think I wanna date men now! Oh, okay, look, we knew this was gonna happen. Uh, hurricanes make the power go out, so look, we, we knew this was gonna happen, so what's the first thing we gotta do? Oh, Mario, do we have to reproduce now? Cause she's the only girl here! Oh, that's why I'm scared of the dark, Mario! Oh, okay, look, 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 okay, we need to look for flashlights. Does anybody know where a flashlight is? Oh, I have a flashlight on my phone! Okay, grab that. See? Oh, God, God woman! And I'm blind. Oh, yeah, point it that way. Yeah. Okay, look, we need to go find Jeffy first. So I mean, go. it shouldn't be hard to find. He's going around saying, Whoa! Well, well, let's go look for him. Uh, Rosalina, can you shine your flashlight down the stairs so I can see? Sure, Mario. Okay, thank you. But what if he's upstairs? <gasps> I didn't think about that! Where's the light? <laughs> Sorry, Mario. Uh, you you good, Mario? Oh, I think I broke my back. Mario, do you see Jeffy anywhere? He's throwing chairs in the dining room. <laughs> Jeffy, stop doing that! They have to. You. Oh, come on. Uh, Jeffy, where are you? Uh, she had PP wire the lights off. Because of Sally, Junior. She turned the lights off? Yes. Probably because you guys keep calling her fat, so she feels ugly, so she turns the lights off so we can't see her. What? Junior, no, you haven't confused. Sally is not a person, it's a hurricane. Yeah, you guys keep saying she's nasty and stuff. Well, maybe her neck game's like a giraffe. You know, big girl's hungry. But Junior, Junior, if you want to see Sally, I will show you Sally. Come here. Well, right now? I'm really nervous. Are you, should, should I see her right now? Yes, I will show you Sally. Come here. See, Junior, that's Sally. She's dangerous. Wait, why are the street lights on? Hello? What? Wait, who are you? Oh, my name's Sally. I got lost and it's raining. Can I come inside? Oh, uh, Chef Baby, she's not fat. What the, well, this is the Sally I was talking about, Junior. I'm sorry, Sally. Everyone's been calling you a two. <gasps> it's category two. It's a real storm. Look, look, I don't have time to deal with this. Look, 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 I don't think you're a two. I've been thinking you're a ten this whole time, and I didn't even see you. And you don't have to turn the lights off. I don't think you're ugly. Aww. So you can come to my room. Okay. Turn the lights back on. All right, so this is my bed. See, I got Thomas sheets. Maybe I can call my friend over later and we can run a Thomas on you. Oh, I like trains. You're so pretty. I don't know why everyone says so much bad stuff about you. <gasps> they do? Yeah, you're all over the news. I uh, am? Yeah? yeah, they keep saying you're a two and <gasps> that you're fat and dangerous. And apparently you play the trombone because your mouth getting crazy. You blow really good. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't care what they say. All I care about is that you're with me now, and I'm always going to treat you great. Um, do you have a phone so I can call my parents? You want me to meet your parents? Yeah, I'll get my phone. Okay. Hello? Mom? Dad? I was at the park, and it started raining, and I found a house, and they let me in, and some kid told me the news is saying I'm fat in the number two. Oh, you're going to come get me? Okay, see you soon. Oh, what'd they say about me? Oh man, I don't want to embarrass you. Do you, th you think your parents are gonna like me? Oh, I, I need to impress them. I, I need to brush my teeth. I need to put on deodorant. Oh, I'm so nervous. Why are you so nervous? I I've never met a hurricane's parents. Oh, are they mean? Are they nice? Oh, I don't know. Jeffy, where are you at? Oh, he's in the pantry. Mario, the street lights on. But the street lights are on. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't we have power? I don't know. Let me go and check the circuit breaker. Oh, Jeffy, stop it. Stop it! You are not a hurricane! Babu, bop, bop, babu. What? Mario, maybe if you tell him he is a hurricane, he'll stop. That doesn't make any sense. It's not gonna work. Daddy, I'm hungry for destruction! <laughs> Actually, you know what? You are a hurricane. You're the biggest, strongest, meanest, most dangerous hurricane of them all. I want you to keep doing it because that makes me proud. Well, now I don't want to do it anymore. That's lame. It actually worked. Oh, somebody messed with it. Mario, we have power. What? The power's back on. How did that happen? <sighs> Jeffy must have turned him off when he thought he was a hurricane. Oh. <sighs> you know, before your parents pick us up, I was thinking maybe we should porky pig. Um, I'm Jewish. I don't eat pork. Well, I'm a whole lot of turtle. Mmm.
Ugh. What's wrong? Ew! Oh, ew! You, you look better with the lights off. I thought you were fat. What? Ew! I, I don't want someone who's pretty. I'm a chubby chase. I, I thought that was cushion for the pushing. Ew! What? What did I do? You're a total two with the lights on. With the lights off, you're a ten. Oh, oh. Get out of my house. Oh. All right, we survived the Jeffy hurricane. And you're lucky, Daddy, because y'all was going to keep going. But now we have to survive the real hurricane that's happening outside. At least we still have power, Mario. <laughs> At least we have still have power, Mario. That's what you sound like. Oh. Sit down. All right, so now let's just sit here and we have power, we have food, everything's back to normal. Hey, Daddy, you know how I wanted to be a hurricane? Well, I don't want to be a hurricane anymore. I want to be an earthquake. Jeff! Oh, Jeffy, your breath smells bad. Daddy, did you know that kitty cats leave little chocolate candies in the litter box? You just have to dig around and find them. Ew, Jeffy! Jeffy, that's disgusting! That means you ate poop! No, I didn't, Daddy! Poop goes in the toilet. Little chocolate candies go in the litter box. So you have to dig them out like treasure. Jeffy, that means you ate poop! That's disgusting, Jeffy! That's why your breath smells so bad! Wait, do we even have a cat? What? Eat the meat, the pumpkin. What? Well, Mr. Pumpkin needs to go. We've had him for a while, Mario. All right, Jeffy, look. You're going to eat all these. Daddy, you tweaking? What? No, they're Tic Tacs, Jeffy. Daddy, is this what all the rappers are talking about? How they tweaking hard? No, no, Jeffy, these are Tic Tacs. You eat them, they make your breath smell good, okay? So go eat all these. <sighs> all right, Daddy. Hey, oh, Jeffy, it smells bad. Oh, his breath smells like poop. It really does. So what are we doing, Junior? Well, I went to the dollar store, and I found these cool things. They're capsules, and when you stick them in the water, they can grow cows, so you can have another mom. Yeah, Junior, you must be really bored if you think this is going to be fun. Cody, I did not know this is where animals come from. This is so awesome. Well, it's not where animals come from, Junior. These are just sponges. So, look, look, Cody, don't you want two moms? Like, we can grow as many moms as you want. Yeah, well, I do wish everything could get bigger when you dip it in water, because I could use a few inches. I'd be dunking that thing. All right, so I'm going to open this up, and we can try to find the one with the cow. All right, Cody, what color capsule should we use to get your mom? Well, if you if you want a cow, you should use a yellow one since there's a yellow cow in the picture. Wow, you want two moms so badly you did all that math? What math? There's a picture right there. All right, Cody, let's do this. <sighs> what, Junior? It's just the last time this was happening, your mom was born. Junior, just put it in the glass. Oh, put it in my glass, Daddy. Nothing's happening. You have to give it a few minutes. Hey, Junior! Oh, hey, Jeffy, what's going on? See, my daddy's making me eat these Tic Tacs because he hates me. That's gross. Yeah. Oh, can I have one of your Tic Tacs? Oh, these aren't Tic Tacs. They're little capsules with animals in it. And if you put it in water, it grows. So you should try it. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa, Cody, it's a cow! It's your mom! Yeah, there she is. Wait, that, that's what she looked like when she was a baby? Junior, can we just do something else? Moo. Moo. It's first words. Moo. Moo, it's your little mom, moo. Yeah, I see it. Well, okay, so let's just leave your mom alone. Let's let her grow, so because you know she's going to get huge. Hey, Daddy. What, Jeffy, did you eat the Tic Tacs? Let me smell your breath. <sighs> oh, Jeffy, that's disgusting. Well, you wanted to smell my breath, Daddy, and I didn't even eat the Tic Tacs. Well, you didn't eat the Tic Tacs. Well, I had one Tic Tac, but then I ate more kitty cat chocolate. Jeffy, let me see the Tic Tacs. Oh, they're right here, Daddy. There you go. It's not even open. You didn't eat any of them. Well, I had one Tic Tac from my friend. What? From your friend? What, what Tic Tac from your friend? Oh, well, here's the packaging right here. Magic grow capsules. Mario, you need one of those. It grows in the animals. It says, not a food product. Jeff, you're not supposed to eat this. It says, do not place in mouth or swallow. Rosalina, have you been reading this? <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, you have to spit that out and throw it out because, because it might be poisonous. So throw up. All right, Daddy, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I tried throwing up like a kitty cat. What, ew, Je so, so, Jeffy, you said you didn't throw up. Now I have to call a doctor because you might be poisoned from this magic grow capsule. Let me call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. My son swallowed something and I don't know if it's poisonous. Oh, no. Did he swallow a rattlesnake? Because that wouldn't be poisonous. That'd be venomous. There's a difference. Wait, why would he swallow a rattlesnake? I don't know, but did he? No! Oh. He swallowed one of these magic grow capsules. Oh, yeah. That makes way more sense than swallowing a rattlesnake. He did not swallow a rattlesnake. Look, look. Is this poisonous or not? Well, it's not venomous. I I can tell you that. Is it poisonous? Well, I don't know. What's the box say? It says, do not place in mouth or swallow. <laughs> Has my wife been reading that? I already made that joke. Oh, pff, lame. So, so what's going to happen to Jeff if he swallowed one of these? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll just find out what animal he swallowed when he poops it out. <laughs> I hope he swallowed a sheep, because that would be bad. You, you get it? I, I said bad. 
you know, you know, cause sheeps, they go, they go bad. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I, I get it. So, so you don't think it's poisonous? You think he's gonna be okay? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Um, I've also been eating cat poop. Okay, now that, 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 that is actually bad for you. Don't do that. Yeah, tell him no. No, no cat poop. Well, they look like Ferrero Rocher's, like where they're crunchy on the outside, but creamy in the middle. I, I don't know what that is. I know what that is. They're good. Well, okay, well, look, look, so, so I will call you if things get worse, but you don't think anything bad's gonna happen? No, I think he'll be fine. All right. So Mario, do you think Jeffy's going to be okay? Well, nothing's happened to him yet, so I think we're gonna be fine. <gasps> What's wrong, Daddy? Uh, uh, you, you're a sheep. Oh no, Rosalina, this is bad. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm so scared, Daddy, I'm gonna sheep my pants. Jeffy, is that really you, or are you pulling the wool over our eyes? We have to call the doctor back. Ow! Hey, Daddy, you should spank my fluffy cheeks. <sighs> We call the doctor. Hey there. You know, I don't even go home. I just wait out in my car because I know you're going to call me again. I'm sorry. That's fine. Gas ain't cheap, but next time I'll just sit in your living room and then go through your pantry and get a snack or something. Oh, you won't believe what happened. Jeffy turned into a sheep. Isn't that bad? Yeah, that's bull crap. What, what, no, no, it happened. Like, he, he really did turn into a sheep. What? No, people don't just turn into animals because they eat a magic growing sponge. Well, well but you were right. Like, he, he ate the, the sheep one and he turned into a sheep. What, do you think it was born yesterday? You think I'm actually gonna believe that? It actually did happen, like, like Jeffy Talk. Wait, Jeffy Talk. Bah. No, 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 seriously, it's my son. He, he can talk, he has the helmet, you see? All right, hold on. Let me get my cop outfit on before I accuse you of anything. Wait, what? Bah. All right, here's what I think happened. I think you wanted to get rid of your son, like, what? so you went to the store and you bought those magical sponge growing tablets, and then he ate one, and then you called me because you thought he was gonna because you thought I wanted... Hold, hold on, hold on, I'm confused. There, there was a mollusk and a sea cucumber. Wait, what? Well, I'm sorry, I watched Finding Nemo earlier. Let's, let's restart. You wanted to get rid of your son, so you did it, and then you replaced him with a sheep, and you put a helmet on the sheep because you thought no one would notice. Why would I do that? Well, because it's easier to take care of a sheep than to take care of your son. That is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. That's actually my son. He turned into a sheep, and I'll prove it. Jeffy, talk. Bah. Jeffy, talk. Bah. Hold on, just give me a second. Jeffy, I swear to God, if you don't talk, I'm taking away all your toys. But Daddy, you gotta buy me the PlayStation 5 and then I'll talk. What? Buy me the PlayStation 5 or I'm gonna keep going. I'll buy it for you next month. I'll buy it for you next week. Shut up! You're yelling shut up at a sheep. No, it's not a sheep, it's my son. I promise it's my son. Look, look, he has the blue helmet. Well, yeah, anybody could put a helmet on a sheep. He'll say his name. Jeffy, say your name, just say your name. Sheep. What? Sheep. Oh, look, 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 sheep. Look, 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 That's clearly my son because sheeps don't say sheep. Of course they do, they're like Pokemon. They say their own name all the time. No, they don't! Look, this is my son. I don't want to get rid of my son. If I want to get rid of him, I would just get rid of him. So you really expect me to believe that your son ate a sponge and now, now he's a sheep or something? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not crazy. He, he says that he'll talk if I get him a PlayStation 5. Do you hear yourself? You sound delusional. It's true! This is my son! He's, that's, that's really him! I would not get rid of him! You are insane. I mean, do you have anybody who could back up your crazy story? Oh, 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 oh. baby! Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, didn't Jeffy turn into a sheep? Oh, yeah, uh-huh, he's, he's telling the truth. Where is she? I think she's doing her nails in the closet. What? Look, 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 that's my son, Jeffy. I, I, look, that's him right there. Okay, I'm not buying this, and I don't know what kind of insurance fraud thing you're trying to run here. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to get a warrant for your arrest. And if you don't have your son here when I get back, you're going to jail. What? Hey, Mario, what's going on? Baby, I might go to jail. <laughs> It's your turn! No, 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 look, 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 the cop thinks that I got rid of Jeffy and replaced him with a sheep. Well, that's preposterous. You shut up. Oh, hi, my name's Jeffy. Is that what you wanted me to say, Daddy? You happy? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Ah, help! Ah, help! 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 Just do that when the cop gets back. Okay, Daddy, when the cop gets back, I'll yell, help! Help! Shut, shut up. Okay, look, 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 there's only one person that I know that can fix all this because Jeffy has to be a human by the time the cop gets back. Who's that, Mario? Hold on. God, why do you hate me? Ugh, you complain a lot. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I have a huge problem. Yeah, you always do. And I need you to fix it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, my son turned into a sheep. Well, that is different. Yeah, so, so, so the cops think, you know, I 
got rid of them. Oh, oh, bro, bro, hold on. I have to stop you for one second. I gotta tell you a story. Oh, man, this one time, I was playing truth or dare with this guy named Abraham, and I dared him to sacrifice his son, and the crazy dude almost did it. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, like, he was ready to do it. Like, he had him on the table and everything, and I was like, at the last minute, I had to be like, bro, 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 stop, stop. It's just a game, you know? Like, you could pass. You could pick truth. You don't really have to do it, but... He was just too ready to sacrifice his son. Like, he was thinking about it before I told him to, you know? That guy's crazy. Yeah, he should be in jail. You can't do that. It must have been a long, awkward walk home, you know? Dad, were you really going to sacrifice me? Yeah. Why? Because God told me to. If God told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that? I bet he would. That guy's nuts. I should tell him to jump off a bridge. I wonder what he's doing right now. Okay, so can you can you fix my problem, though? No, no, I can't keep helping you with every single problem you have. Oh, okay, look, look, you don't have to help me with any other problem. Just this one, because I can go to jail. Well, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I can only answer three prayers a day. Only three? Yeah, and one of them always goes to Tom Brady. What, like, always? Oh, yeah, I mean, how else do you think he has a supermodel wife and all that money, and he's won all those Super Bowls? But he's lost the Super Bowl. Yeah, but I ran out of prayers that day. I already used them all up. Oh, so, so, did you have any more prayers left for today? Nope, I already used all three. What'd you use them all on? Well, uh, this one guy uh, prayed that he left his cop outfit in his car so he didn't have to drive all the way back home. So I did that one. And then, let's see, there was this kid who wished that he had a dollar so that he could buy these little, like, magic growing sponge capsules. And then this one kid wished for a remote control sheep for some reason. Well, so, so, so you can't turn my son back to a human? No, no, sorry. Well, 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 what, what are you good for? But we could just, like, hang out, you know? Just, like, watch some TV. Ooh, ooh, I can walk on water. You want to see that? Ooh, I want to see. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll show you. What am I going to do? All right, I got the warrant. You're under arrest. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Give me more time. Let's see if Jeffy will talk. Jeffy, talk. Hey, Jeffy, say your name. Please say your name, Jeffy. Please. Oh, man, your battery's dying. Uh, Jeffy? What? what? What's going on? Oh, I had a remote control sheep. And the battery's died, so I couldn't talk. Uh, Look, officer, look, Jeffy's alive. See, look, he, he's alive. Huh, yeah, I guess it looks like I was wrong. Well, you know what they say, a broken clock is wrong twice a day. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. It's a broken clock is right twice a day. Broken clock is wrong most of the time. I'm a broken clock because I'm only sometimes right. Yeah, you don't want to have a broken clock, you know, because you take the L away, you have a really bad marriage. Your wife will not be happy. Anyway, sorry about that. Jeffy, where did you get this uh, remote control sheep from? Well, I went in my room and I said, please God, give me a remote control sheep so I can ask my daddy for a PlayStation 5, and poof, there it was. Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? Why are you dressed like me? Why are you dressed like me? Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. You're dressed like me, so you're gonna repeat everything I say. You're dressed like me, so you're gonna repeat everything I say. Well, I'm just not gonna get mad. Well, I'm just not gonna get mad. But seriously, why? But seriously, why? Like, take it off. Like, take it off. I'm being serious, Jeffy. I'm being serious, Jeffy. Jeffy, stop it. Jeffy, stop it. Mario, calm down. He's just having fun. But he's being stupid. But he's being stupid. Mario. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Pancakes. Ice, ice cream, cream. School bus. Bounty balls. SMLMerch.com. Link in the description. Super Califat looking because we had a dosis. Ah, you didn't say what I said. Ah, you didn't say what I said. No, you just went. No, you just went. You didn't do the thing. You didn't do the thing. Mario, you just went. Mario, he's just a kid. Let him play. Mario, he's just a kid. Let him play. Mario, he's just a kid. Mario, he's just a kid. Let him play. Jeffy, how are you doing today? Good, mommy. Ah, you you, you broke character. Ah, you, you broke character. No, you weren't supposed to answer her. You're only supposed to say what I say. No, you weren't supposed to answer her. You're only supposed to say what I say. Mario, stop it! <laughs> Jeffy! I'm gonna hit you. I'm going to hit you. Mario, don't teach him that! I'm, I'm just gonna watch TV. I'm just gonna watch TV. <sighs> Hello there! My name is Chris Tallballs, and this is my Chris Tallball, and I can predict your future for five bucks! So come on down and get your future predicted and see where your life is headed. Ooh, Mario, 
we should go see him. He could tell us our future. I'm not gonna go see a guy named Chris Tallballs. He sounds like a kook. Chris Tallballs is not a kook. He's a pioneer. He's been telling futures for over 50 years. Well, I don't want to know my future, but hopefully Jeffy's not in it. Mario, don't say that. That's rude. Yeah, Danny, that was pretty rude. Oh, so you're done repeating me. Oh, so you're done repeating me. But no, Jeffy, you can't just start back up. Uh, no, Jeffy, you can't just start back up. Please, Mario, it would be so much fun. No! No! Mario, please go with me. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. See, look, Jeffy's on the right page. See, look, Jeffy's on the right page. Come on, Jeffy. We should all go together. Well, I want to go. Well, no, I don't. No, I don't. Well, which one is it, Jeffy? Do you want to go or not? Yeah, I want to go. But I don't want to go. But I don't want to go. Jeffy, make up your mind. I do want to go. I really, 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 really don't want to go. I really, 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 really don't want to go. See, Mario. see, see, Jeffy doesn't want to go. See, 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 Jeffy doesn't want to go. If I can convince Jeffy to stop repeating you, will you go? Yes. Yes. Jeffy, stop repeating Mario. All right, mommy. It was that easy? Let's go! Baby. <sighs> All right, now I'm going to predict your future. Yes, it says here that you're going to be very rich and wealthy. I knew it. All right. Who's next? Come on in. <sighs> hey there, kook. Mario, don't be rude. Five dollars. What? Five dollars? Oh, yeah. Here's your five dollars. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, come on now. Come here, you. Oh, the friction is non-existent. Oh, oh, you know what? Do away with that. Oh, hello there. My name is Chris Tallballs, and these are my crystal balls. Oh, I get it. What? Your name is Chris Tallballs, and those are crystal balls. It's the same word. It's not the same at all. Y y yes, it is. Your name is Chris Tallballs, and those are crystal balls. Correct. Yeah, so you did that. To, you, you, you named yourself that to, to sound like crystal balls. No, my name is Chris, last name Tallballs, and those are my crystal balls. Yes, but like it's supposed to it's supposed to be like a, a joke like to sound like crystal ball. No, there's no correlation there. Mario, I think you're overthinking it. What? No, his name is Crystal Balls and those are Crystal Balls. That would make sense if his first name was Crystal and his last name Balls, but his first name is Chris, Mario. It doesn't make sense. Well, it, it, his, your name is Crystal Balls. Tis, and those are my Crystal Balls. And they sound the same. No. Oh, you know, just tell me my future. All right. What's your name again? M Mario. Yes, I knew that. All right, here we are. Oh, oh, Ma Mario. Yes. He uh, your name. Yes. All right, Mario. Your future is you're going to be bald. He is bald. Ah, correct. Wonderful. What, I've, I've always been bald. That's not even a future. All right, who's next? Me, me. Oh, wonderful. Five dollars. Oh, I only have a ten. Oh, perfect. You'll get two for the price of two. All right, here we are. Hello there. My name is Chris Tallballs. What's your name, dear? Rosalina. Oh, Rosalina. Let's see. Let's predict your future. That's how I turn my balls on. Boo, 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 boo. boo. All right. Rosalina, it says here that you're going to be getting a, uh, 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 a haircut. <gasps> Wonderful. Who's next? Okay, come on. He, he just made up something. He just randomly said you're getting a haircut. Everybody gets haircuts. Mario, there's no way he thought I could possibly get a haircut one day. Th there's hair in front of your eye. He knows you need a haircut. Correct. So who's next? Uh, well, she gets two. All right. So who's next? Well, how about you tell us your future since you know so much? Oh, wonderful. All right. <clears throat> What's my name? Chris Tallballs. Oh, you're, you're correct, sir. All right, here we are. Chris Tallballs. Mm, boo. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, it says here that I will pay off my tax debt and, and I'll have no more tax liens because I'll be making $5 by calling people out of fake future tellings. Yes. And who ate the donut? What? Mario, don't laugh. Who ate the donut? Did you, sir? What are you, what are you talking about? What donut? Oh, my apologies, guys. My, I have early onset dementia, and I just forget things almost instantly. Okay. Well, ha have a nice day. All right, who's next? 
But Mario, what about Jeffy? He would love this. He just admitted to conning us out of five dollars with fake future tellings. Oh, come on, Mario. Jeffy would have so much fun. Okay, if you want to lose five of your dollars, then get Jeffy in here. Okay. Five dollars? Here, Jeffy, I got five dollars from your wallet. All right, thanks. All right, what's your name, son? Jeffy. All right, Jeffy, let's see here. Mm, boo, Jeffy. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. your future telling, Jim Bob. All right, here we are. Oh, Jim Bob, it says here that you are going to uh, uh, die in your future. Die? When? Uh, it, it says here that it could be tomorrow or, or in two days or a year from now or, or five years from now or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or uh, who ate the donut? <laughs> Hold on, Jeffy. We don't say that word on YouTube. We say go to sleep forever. Well, Santa Claus said I'm going to go to sleep forever. Jeffy, you're not going to go to sleep forever. I mean, eventually you will, but not anytime soon, probably. Mario! When? I mean, honestly, it could be any day now, any second. I mean, we never know when our time comes. Uh, I don't want to go to sleep forever, Daddy. Well, look, Jeffy, the, the man's a kook, and he doesn't even know how to tell the future. He's just conning us out of money. He, he was just making up stuff. He was just saying obvious facts, like, obviously I'm bald, and obviously Rosalina needs a haircut, and obviously one day we're all going to go to sleep forever, including you. But I don't want to go to sleep forever. Well, don't Je tell him that, Mario. He needs to know the truth. Like, Jeffy, literally anything could happen. Like, you could pick up this remote, and it could electrocute you. Or, uh, you could walk and trip and break your neck. Well, I'm never walking again! I mean, oh, Jeffy, anything could happen. Like, a plane could crash into the top of the house. Ah! I thought you said you weren't walking! I'm running! <sighs> Mario, why would you scare Jeffy like that? I didn't scare him, I just told him the truth. One day we're all gonna go to sleep forever. And it's your fault that we went to that future teller in the first place. I thought it was stupid. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. But Jeffy, why are you dressed like that? You look ridiculous. Oh, I think he looks kind of cute. It's my armor, and nothing's ever going to hurt me. I'm never going to go and sleep forever. Jeffy, that's bubble wrap, not armor. It's armor. Okay, if it's armor, then why can't it pop? Ooh! Jeffy, stop it. It's annoying. Je Jeffy, stop it. Jimmy, 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 it's actually really dangerous that you have bubble wrap wrapped all over you because what if you have a heart attack and doctors have to do emergency surgery but they can't get to your heart because this bubble wrap is, is, is all over your body. Okay, yeah, we, we need to stop this. Let's call Chris Tallballs and tell him that he needs to tell Jeffy that he'll never go to sleep forever so he can stop being scared of everything. Okay, Mario. You called? I brought my portable crystal ball. Well, thank you for coming, crystal. Five dollars. Uh, here you go. All right, so the reason we called you is you really scared our son when you told him. Ten dollars. I just paid you. You did. Ten dollars. <gasps> Look, here, okay, that's all the money you're getting, okay? Look, the reason we called you here is that we need you to tell my son that he's never gonna go to sleep forever. But we'll all go to sleep forever at one point or another. Okay, well then tell him he'll go to sleep forever in like a hundred years, just not now or anytime soon. Okay, where is your son? Jeffy, get in here! What's up, Danny? Santa Claus uh, read your future wrong, so he wants to tell you something new. Oh, oh hey, Santa Claus! Hello there, Jeffy. All right, let's take a look at your future. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Yes. Um, excuse me, sir. What am I supposed to be doing again? Tell him he'll go to sleep forever in like a hundred years, just not anytime soon. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right. Uh, hurry up, Stiffy, here. Yeah. It says here that you won't go to sleep for at least another hundred years. No, 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 no. Go to sleep forever in a hundred years. Like... Oh, wonderful. Uh, oh, it says here that you won't go to sleep forever for another 100 years. So I don't have to be scared for another 100 years? Correct. Oh, thank you, Santa Claus. Oh, no problem, son. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh. Jeff
Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Jeffy, get in here, you're late. All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go to school. <sighs> Jeffy, what are you wearing? My tomato head. You're not wearing your tomato head to school, Jeffy. But Daddy, I always wear my tomato head to school. No, you don't, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Je Je Jeffy, come on. It's time to go to school. You're late. Hold on, Daddy. I gotta go get my backpack. Yo, hurry up, Jeffy. You're late. <sighs> All right, Daddy. I'm ready to go to school. Jeffy, you're not wearing your cheeseburger head either. But, Daddy, I always wear my cheeseburger head to school. Jeffy, you look ridiculous. Stop licking me. <laughs> Jeffy, take that off. Look, it's time to go to school. Come on. <sighs> All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about poverty. Poverty is when boy turns to man and girl turn to woman. That's when your tiny Vienna sausage turn into big hot dog. And when your taco turn into chalupa. Puberty is when your balls drop. So your voice go from high pitch like, Oh, I'm so Asian, I can't see. To, oh, I'm so Asian, I can't see. Any questions, Grass? Poverty? I want to go through poverty. I want a hot dog. That makes two of us. <laughs> Also, Crass, when you go through puberty, you get fuzzy hair on your balls, like these tennis balls. And you can also get fuzzy hair on your face. I wouldn't say mine are fuzzy. It's more like there's a forest down there. I want to grow a beard and look like Santa Claus. I want a mustache. All right, Crass. So for tonight's homework, I want you to go home and rook at your balls. I want you to really rook at them. I'm talking rook at them. It could be footballs, basketballs, baseballs, ping pong balls, any balls you have. I want you to rook at him. <laughs> Can do. Uh, Junior, I'm gonna need you to come over and help me with my homework tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Like, 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 right now. Okay. Okay, Junior, let's get started on this homework. <sighs> Cody, what are we gonna hit puberty? Well, Junior, we're only 11. We're not gonna hit puberty for another year or two. But, Cody, I wanna hit puberty now. I want a big mustache. Huh, well, it's funny you should say that, because I've actually been working on something. What? What is that, Cody? This is a machine that shoots contained, uncontrollable manliness. It's an acronym. But what's contained, uncontrollable manliness? Well, it's stuff that makes you into a man. Gives you a mustache and a deep voice and everything. Oh, I want to be a man? Okay, shoot me with it. Uh, well, I haven't actually tested it yet, so I don't know what'll happen. What, so we need someone to test it on? Yeah. Who are we going to test it on? Hey, guys, what are you doing? <gasps> We should test it on Jeffy. Okay, just ask for his consent first. Hey, Jeffy, can we shoot you with some contained, uncontrollable manliness? Sure. All right, Cody, do it. Test it on him. All right, stand back. <laughs> Did it work? It worked. Jeffy, look at your big manly mustache. Huh? I have a mustache. I am a man. A big, strong man. Oh, Cody, do me next. Do me next. Uh-oh, Junior. I I'm all out of contained, uncontrollable manliness. I blew my whole load. What, you ran out? Yeah. Well, we'll get some more because I want to be a man. Well, we're just going to have to find some more, Junior. Okay, let's go find some more. I want to be a man like Jeffy. <sighs> How was school today, Jeffy? It was great, Daddy. Jeffy, what happened to you? Oh, you must be talking about my mustache. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, it's gorgeous, but I'm talking about your voice, too. It's super deep. What happened? It's called puberty, Daddy. Jeffy, there's no way you hit puberty today. You were fine this morning. Well, then, check my diaper. I got big balls. I'm talking big. <laughs> well, Jeffy, you don't look right. I'm going to call a doctor to see what's going on with you. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yes, I did, doctor. There's something wrong with my son. There is? He looks fine to me. Of course, I'm legally blind in my left eye, so all I can see is that way. Well, my son has a huge mustache. He does? Hold on. Oh my god, that's a beautiful mustache! I wish I could grow a mustache like that. This is as long as my mustache gets, and I can't grow a beard, so I'm just kind of stuck like this. Well, my son grew a mustache out of nowhere. He didn't have it this morning, and also his voice sounds really weird, like it's really deep. Show him, Jeffy! Hello, Doctor! <laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful. He is the voice of an angel. But why do you think he sounds like that? He usually sounds like this. Hey, Daddy, what you doing? Wow, that's a really good Jeffy impression. Yeah, I'm around Jeffy all the time, so I can do a good impression. But usually his voice is not that deep. What happened? Well, there is a thing called puberty that kids his age usually go through, and it does cause your voice to get deeper and you grow hair on your face. So that's probably what's happening. It's perfectly natural. Okay, so this is just Jeffy's new voice now? Yeah, and that's his new rockin' mustache, too. All right, Jeffy, I guess there's nothing to worry about then. Uh, hey, do you mind if I uh, just stay here and watch TV on your couch right now? I, 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 I guess. Okay, cool. Ugh, let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay? I, Mr. Goodman, am holding the first annual Sing Me to Sleep competition, and whoever succeeds in singing me to sleep will win one million dollars. I am holding this competition because I am having trouble sleeping because my bed is made of money 
and my pillows are made of gold bricks. I'm gonna enter Jeffy in that competition. I'm gonna enter that competition. Oh, you back off, man. That million dollars is mine. I need that million dollars more than you do. Oh yeah, what do you need it for? Well, I wanna pay off my house and all my credit card bills. <laughs> Credit card bills, that's cute. Yeah, I'm in debt up to my ears. You ever heard of child support? I owe it, a lot of it. There's a warrant out for my arrest in four states for back child support. I have crippling debt. If I drop a dollar on the ground and I don't pick it up, I'm bankrupt. I would literally lick a McDonald's urinal cake for $10, and I've done it. My power got shut off yesterday, and I am two months behind on my rent, so you back off, man. Well, we really want that million dollars, and Jeffy has an amazing singing voice, so we're gonna win. Well, have you ever heard my singing voice? I know, Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the... Is, is it up? Is it up or down the water spout? Y you know what? I don't know, but you're going to find out when you hear me sing it at the competition, and then you're going to watch me walk away a millionaire. Well, we're going to be a millionaire, and we're going to walk away with a million dollars. Isn't that right, Jeffy? So we're getting ready. All right, Jeffy, we're going to go with this competition, okay? Hello and welcome to the first annual Sing Me to Sleep competition. My name is Mr. Goodman, and our first contestant is Brooklyn T. Guy. I'm going to go lie down and see if he can sing me to sleep. All right, it's my turn to go on stage. Watch and learn, peasants. <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, hello, my name is Brooklyn T. Guy, and I'm going to be singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So prepare to sleep your head off. <clears throat> the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down the and washed the spider out. Then comes something soaked up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again Up, up the spout, down the spout I, I, are you asleep yet? That was the most horrible thing I've ever heard No one could ever fall asleep to that I, I am so sorry, C can I go again? <sighs> Maybe you can try again at the end Okay, yes, I need more time to prepare, thank you Wow, that was so good Hey, hey Hey, shh, you don't know me, bro, okay? If you knew me, you'd know that wasn't my best, all right? I've had a sore throat for like two months, and I ate a whole bunch of popcorn before I came out, so my voice was all scratchy, all right? So I'm gonna go drink some water, and then I'm gonna drink some tea, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna try again later. Okay, it's a bunch of excuses. All right, Jeffy, practice your twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. What you are. Oh, Jeffy, that was really good. Oh, man, that was beautiful. I gotta stop him. The next contestant is Black Yoshi. Hi, my name is Black Yoshi, and the song I'm gonna be singing is The Three Little Pigs. That is not a song. Yeah, it is. Watch this. One piggy, two piggy, three piggy, oink. I need a million dollars really, really bad. You get off my stage. Man, when do I get my million dollars, though? You don't! Man, you green, folks. All right, the next contestant is Jeffy. Someone please help me fall asleep. All right, Jeffy, it's your turn. Go out there and sing your heart out. Hey, kid. Why'd you hit Jeffy in the nuts? Because I'm threatened by his talent. Oh, Jeffy, get out there and sing. I cannot believe you do that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh, oh, oh he sucks. Oh, it's so bad. so high like a diamond in the sky. Oh, dear God, please Twinkle, make it stop. That was the worst thing that I've ever heard. I think I'm gonna sue you for rupturing my eardrums. You get off my stage, leave! Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe you lost the competition because your voice messed up. I know, Dolly, I don't know what happened. And now, I sound like me wild. Hey. What are you doing here? I just came to apologize. What I did was wrong. And I didn't even win the competition. So if you would have won, would you still be sorry? God, no. If I'd won, I'd be in Fiji right now. You'd never see me again. But I didn't win, so I'm sorry. So none of us have a million dollars. Yeah, it sucks. And Jeffy's voice sounds really weird. Look, talk to the doctor, Jeffy. Hello, doctor. Oh, well, I can probably fix that. Come here, Jeffy. <laughs> you hit me in the balls, daddy. What, what <sighs> Jeffy, uh, did, is your voice sounding good? Yeah, Daddy, I think it sounds fine. Wait, wait so, so if you hit him in the nuts, it just changes his voice? Yeah, it looks like it. So if we hit him again, will his voice get deep? Well, I don't know. And it really wouldn't matter anyway. The competition's already over. Oh, well, I guess everything's back to normal. So let's just watch TV. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? 
I am holding a $1 million best mustache competition. I will be giving away $1 million to whoever has the best mustache. Give me that. Ah!